The Gaffney Chicago Medical Center has been part of NBC's Chicago franchise for eight seasons and seven years now, and we've all become attached to the men and women who work there. And now one of the most beloved couples on the show, Dr. Ethan Choi and April Sexton, are making an exit. Let's examine why they left and whether they will return. Also, everything we know about the upcoming season nine. First up, why did the couple leave in the first place? The recently concluded fall finale of the NBC show saw all two more favorites leave the show, but in a good way. They got married. Audiences said goodbye to two of the best-loved characters on the show, Yaya DaCosta's April Sexton and Brian T's Dr. Ethan Choi. The two tied the knot in a beautiful, warm, and beautiful ceremony, but more on that later. Season 8's fall finale finally saw Ethan and April getting married. Of course, they made us wait till the very end of the episode to show the happy ending for the beautiful couple. By the episode's final scenes, Ethan and April were finally seen exchanging vows at their wedding in front of loved ones. After the marriage ceremony, the couple said bye to their colleagues in style, in a mobile medical van to be exact, on their way to a brand new adventure, away from Gaffney Chicago Medical Center. It seems that the couple will be running a mobile clinic for underserved communities. What a great way to begin your life together. Even before the wedding ceremony, Ethan shared the couple's plans with Sharon Goodwin, who was actually quite supportive of the idea. They even joked about how the van would put Sharon's ED out of business. So really, there's nothing to worry about. Their relationship has finally been consolidated, and they're on their way to doing their part to save the world. Let's take a look at how the wedding went down. There was plenty of drama that happened before the wedding even. The bride's father ends up in the ER, and he kept insisting that he doesn't want anyone fussing for him. Luckily for him, his daughter took care of the situation and took him to the hospital. Fortunately, it wasn't urgent, and he could have the surgery after the wedding. Thank God. We almost thought the wedding would get postponed. Finally, it was time for the wedding. The couple looked absolutely resplendent as they exchanged vows and sealed it with a kiss. Instead of leaving in a limo, they boarded their mobile medical van as everyone threw rice at them. Cute, not to mention, it's not the end of the road for Brian T. on Chicago Med. Now, Dr. Ethan Choi might be heading out in the world, away from the Gaffney Chicago Medical Center, but it's not the end of the road for actor Brian T. His character has been one of the most long-standing ones on the show, and even though his story arc has ended on a happy note, viewers would still be a bit upset to find their favorite no longer in the Chicago universe. But turns out that that's not the case. It seems that Brian T. is not leaving the show, as we all just seem to have assumed. If you recall, T. announced in October that he would depart from the show, but return in a different role. So wait, he's going to be playing another character? It seems so. We don't have any details on what this role will be or when he will reappear on the show. But honestly, it will be pretty hard to imagine T as anyone other than the good Dr. Ethan Choi. We'll probably end up getting super confused. But that's not all. The actor is set to make his directorial debut. Yep, he's going to direct the 16th episode of the season. And who knows, he may even direct more. Up next, why is Brian T giving up acting on the show? According to the Japanese American American actor. There are a couple of reasons. First of all, it was completely amicable, and it was T's decision. He decided to depart from his acting role on Chicago Med after the end of his six-year contract. The actor said earlier that he actually wanted to spend more time with his family. That includes his family, Marilee, and their daughter, Madeline. His daughter was just five weeks old when he started acting on the show. And like we said earlier, the 54-year-old actor now wants to spread his wings and try his hand at other aspects of the industry. He now wants to experiment with production and direction. Good for him, we say. Meanwhile, Yaya DaCosta's on-again, off-again relationship with the show continues. While DaCosta is leaving the show, we don't know just yet whether this will be a permanent thing or not, and this isn't the first time she has quit the show, although this time we aren't exactly sure if she has quit or been written out of the show. Many Chicago Med actors have left the series because of the creative decisions of the writers choosing to write their characters off the show. Show. But in the instance of DaCosta quitting the show the first time, it was a personal decision on her part, not the writers. The actress wasn't around for season 7 because of another project she chose to be a part of. She was honest about the fact that she had already been thinking of leaving the show when this opportunity came up. She came across the script for Fox's drama, Our Kind of People, and it seems that she immediately fell in love with it. Apparently, it wasn't just the fact that it was an interesting project that also seemed to 
to inspire her, but it also allowed her to team up with Lee Daniels, whom she worked with earlier on The Butler, and she was looking to create the same kind of magic once again. Unfortunately, the show was canceled after just one season, and it all came together. As T planned his exit, the writers had to give Dr. Choi's story arc a believable end. So Schneider brought back his ex-girlfriend April, only to give the couple the ending the fans had been wanting to see. Coming up, let's do a quick recap of Ethan and April's relationship. This relationship is actually as old as the show itself. The two first meet in the first season of the show. By the second season, things start heating up between the doctor and the nurse, and the two share their first kiss, much to the delight of the viewers. By the third season, April and Ethan are firmly committed to each other and very much in love too, but they have to keep it on the down low, mostly because a workplace romance is always complicated. And secondly, the doctor is already being accused of favoritism by one of the other nurses. Season 4 turns out to be tough for Ethan, as he ends up being poisoned and becomes unwell to the extent that he becomes bedridden. But it's where the two become closer than ever before. Next, what are the possibilities of the couple returning to the show? In all honesty, it's really anyone's guess right now. There's a whole range of possibilities for the answer to his question. Will Dr. Choi and April Sexton return to the show? Which is different from Brian T and Yaya DaCosta returning to the show. T has already said that he could return to the cast in a different role, and because he said it would be in a different role, it doesn't really mean that his leading lady will return automatically too. That said, given that the two of them were such fan favorites, it's possible that they may be lured back into the storyline. But you know what? The idea of a beautiful biracial couple outrunning a medical health facility out of a van makes for a great story and the premise for a spin-off series. They might not return to the Gaffney Chicago Medical Center, but they could very much remain a part of the Chicago universe. We honestly think a spin-off would work really well. Moving on, what does this mean for the rest of the cast? Now, when two long-standing characters leave the story, there are bound to be some changes in the plot and how the story plays out, and even beyond the departure of April and Ethan. The episode made some hints about what is to come for the rest of the cast of Chicago Med, so there are clearly going to be some changes in the management. Whether they are good or bad remains to be seen. One of these is when Peter Kalmick tells Sharon that Jack Dayton has actually bought a controlling interest in the Gaffney Medical Group. And maybe, just maybe, there might be another wedding around the corner for the medical drama when April tosses her wedding bouquet. As is the tradition, it is caught by Dr. Hannah Asher. This leads us to believe that she might be a bride sooner than we expected. But the question is, who's the groom going to be? It could either be Will Halstead or even Dr. Archer. Guess we'll just have to wait and see. Lastly, let's take a look at everything we know about the next season of Chicago Med. After a lot of speculation about whether there will be a ninth season or not, we finally have a date. NBC confirmed that the ninth season would be happening, and the date we have is for the summer, May 3rd, 2023 to be exact. So diehard fans of the show can rest at ease. For the longest time, there was no confirmation from the network whether that show is ending with the eighth season. Given that there's such a long wait until the show's next season, there are still very few details about the next season's premise. There are going to be some management changes at the hospital. Now this could go either way. And following the end of a love story, it's possible that another couple's love story may be given more attention in the next season. Because any medical drama has got to have at least one couple that we're all rooting for, right? That's a wrap for this video. Do you think Dr. Ethan Choi and Nurse April Sexton will return to the show? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you at the next one.